Hey, Sag. So we're going to do a read for the next seven days. Okay. Let's get started with your overall guidance. What is the overall guidance? Okay. We got logic. It says, as with most obstacles, decisions, and paths, we must take a step back and reevaluate our position. Have you looked at the situation from every possible angle? Angle. So some of you guys can be angry about something. Detach your emotions and look at the situation from a different perspective. Some of you guys, I feel like logic is required in some sort of situation that you're dealing with at the moment. Okay? So let's see here. Here we go. For the next seven days, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, and Aquarius? For the next seven days, there's no actual time attached to the next from the next seven days from the moment you watch it. Because it's too hard for me to go with the dates. I'm just going to be real. All right, so we're going to take that for the first day. Yours going to pop out. I let the cards decide how they want to come out. <laughs> So for the two of, I mean, for uh, the first day, you got the two of wands, the chariot, and the page of pentacles. You're at a crossroads, but you're choosing not to go forward. Chariot, chariot in reverse. You're choosing not to move forward here. Page of pentacles. You feel like you need more research. So, so there's something that you feel like you need more research on, and you're not gonna move forward in it until you have the research necessary because you don't want to fail. We got the uh, three of pentacles here. This has to do with some sort of partnership or collaboration. What do we have for day two? Okay. We have the Nine of Wands here with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're you're mastering your desires here and there's a new opportunity that's coming in, whether this be an emotional opportunity or just something that you have some emotional attachment to. I do feel like you're freeing yourself emotionally or you have an opportunity to kind of free up some emotions or free, freely express yourself. Um, I feel like it's taken a lot to get you here because the Nine of Wands is about perseverance. Some of you guys, this is about keep moving forward for this opportunity or keep moving forward with a new opportunity what we have for day three for Sagittarius we have the three of cups here so there could be some sort of celebration there could be um let me move these up here there could be a celebration there there could be a third party there could be going out you could be you could be just going out having fun with your friends because these could be all your friends like they're all women or this could be a fucking throttle Whatever the case may be, somebody having some fun, whether it's with you and your friends or with you, between you and another person, don't know. Um, we got the Page of Pentacles under here. This could be someone new coming in, a younger Earth sign, possibly. All right. So what do we have for day four, Sage? We got the Page of Wands. There's some good news. This is Knight of Wands, actually. There's some good news coming in. Actually, no, that's the page of one. I was right. So the Knight of Pentacles here with day one, I, I read that wrong. Mm. Something's taking a long time. You're at a crossroads here. You're not moving forward because something's taking too long. But you could also feel like you need to do more research again because that's what I read initially. So with the page of wands here, you got some good news coming in around four days from now. Uh, or a new person coming in. This person wants you to see all their colors. So if this is like a new friend, they're literally, or like someone new that you just meet that wants to be your friend, they're literally going to tell you the whole life story. If this is someone new coming in, they're going to show you all the colors of them. And I don't know if you're going to like it. Right now it looks good, but it could also be like, look, seven of one, I mean seven of swords in reverse. It could also be like someone releasing a bunch of emotional baggage. Seven of Swords in reverse is no longer being indecisive or no longer being deceptive. Someone's coming out of the box about something. So, <laughs> some of you guys could be meeting a new friend and they just telling you everything. And it may be a lot, but it's not bad. All right, day five. What do we have for Sash for day five? We got the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy here with the Ace of Swords. You, some of you guys could be getting a new job or you could be getting yes to a job opportunity, yes to a new relationship, yes to something new solid. Um, this could also have some spiritual or religious significance for you, uh, especially for some of you guys you could be taking some sort of commitment or you could be choosing to kind of um, see things from a more structured way or from a higher perspective. Some of you guys I'm getting could be going into delivery of messages. So you could be, I don't know if you're going to be a uh, preacher, a pastor, a nun, or, or um, some sort of spiritual leader. That's what I'm getting. Okay. What do we have for day six? For others of you, this is just be a new job. 
you got the sun here with the four of wands here i feel like very you're moving into a happy time a happy this is like happy life happy wife if i had to put a name on these two cards together with the four of wands and the sun card happy life happy wife some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign to be dealing with a taurus as well i see taurus here i see uh cancer and energy here but they're in reverse so if you were dealing with the cancer you're no longer um i definitely feel like for some of you guys you're going to see very clearly what makes you feel balanced within your desires happy life happy wife what what do we have for day seven for sagittarius okay these were they this is not a turn i don't know so we got the ace of pentacles upright which is good but we got the death in reverse and the fool in reverse so something's not over you have a new opportunity but it's from something in the past you got three aces in your read ace of swords ace of cups ace of pentacles you got three aces in your read. And I've seen the ace of wands, I believe. I've seen the ace of wands when it started. I could have swore I've seen the ace of wands. I'm, I'm, I don't know for sure. But I know you're on the precipice of a new beginning. I think I said that. Three aces. I tried to type in three and it put four, so I might have did see the ace of wands, but right now I only see three aces. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have this new opportunity here that's not so new. Death in reverse is something that has not ended, and the full energy here is not taking a leap of faith. Combined with your 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 guidance here, maybe you're needed to put a little bit more thought into whatever it is that you're choosing to do. Because it looks like you're moving forward with what it is that you desire. No doubt. Night of Wands. You're moving forward with what it is you desire. You're following through with your desires. I'm definitely getting that energy. You're at a crossroads. You're following through with your desires. But it's almost like you're taking a long time actually moving down the road. Like you may have made the decision. Yes, Ace of Swords. You have the opportunity. Ace of Cups. You have you know with the ace of pentacles the opportunity you see clearly but it's it's almost like you're not actually applying that okay queen of swords here you you're doing a little, a little too much thinking not enough action all right so let's see what we have in love and we're gonna pull for the love spread what's the overall guidance of love the Sagittarius sun the rise of venus this is for the next seven days What's the overall message of love for Sagittarius on the rise of Venus? I wasn't supposed to do that. Give me one card for Sagittarius on the rise of Venus. Spread your wings and fly. Spread my wings. I can fly. Anything what he said? That boy Arkin. He did a lot of fun. All right, so let's see here. We'll spread your wings. This is the looks like the two of swords. So this looks like a, a, a violet. That may be the two of wands. You're at a crossroads. It's time to take the fuck off. You got the two of wands twice. You got it in your general read and your love read. Okay, it's time to take off. Some of y'all bullshitting. You're bullshitting. Okay, take off. Key words here, expansion, freedom, confinement, decision. Energies of expansion are around you now, and because of this, you may be feeling restless and uncertain. Your mind and soul are ready to soar, but you may feel confined by certain relationships or certain aspects of them. Although they may be comfortable and feel safe, it's possible they don't quite fulfill your needs. Even desire to be in a relationship can be restricting because it becomes your focus and you forget to live your life to the fullest. Okay? Yeah, behind here. Sometimes when you think when you think you have all that you could ever want, you realize that you now want something else. Perhaps the relationship has grown a little too restricting and is not exciting enough, or maybe it's no longer or maybe it no longer meets your needs as you evolve and change. What will it take to allow you to feel unrestrained and joyful? Listen to your heart. What do you really want? Remember to make any needed changes with love and compassion. Some of you guys are ready for a change. In love, you ain't happy. And when you ain't happy, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so we said we were shuffling. What do we have for day one for Sagittarius? Fear. Look, 
to spread your wings and fly. Some of y'all need to fly. Some of y'all are afraid. You may have a new potential relationship. I saw that with the, uh, well, I thought I saw the page one. You may have a new potential partner coming in. Ace of Cups you had in your read. You could definitely have a new partner coming in. And it's kind of causing you to feel a little suspicious. Which I understand because this person is a player. Okay. Day two. Whoever you're dealing with is a player. And you feel like it may be too late to kind of take action on this. This is a soul contract that you're dealing with. Some of you guys are afraid to move forward. You're suspicious as fuck. Some of y'all may want to walk away from this person because you, you this person has taken a long time. So in the read, uh, I said, what was it? That there's an opportunity here, but there was no action being taken. And here, someone says, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So some of you guys, you're dealing with a player. Or this player has not taken, you know, they, you have a soul contract with them. There's lessons that you need to learn. There's a lot of suspicion. There's a lot of uneasiness. Some of you guys, this is about going down a new path in love. Use your logic. Some of y'all are not putting enough thought into it. You're just letting your emotions lead you and is leading you into damnation. What do we have for day three for Sagittarius? So I'm going to rise with Okay. We have healing and family. So some of you guys, this is about healing a family wound is what I'm getting because we got wound, generational wounds. This is about gener healing generational trauma, especially if like you dealing with a player and your dad was a player, you're very uneasy around a situation. Especially if someone's taking a long time, you're just like, mm-mm. The problem is, you and this person definitely have a soul tie. And you guys will always have love for each other or love between each other. I feel like that you're definitely gonna be healing generational trauma with around love. You're gonna be spreading your wings. You're gonna be moving away from a situation that makes, causes you to feel uneasy. I honestly don't think that player is going anywhere, though. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you, some of you guys, there's a lot of reminiscing. You could be doing a lot of reminiscing. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who is, if they're not a player, they may not have a bunch of issues, but they just may be noncommittal. They may not want to settle down. Um, and you may be in the space of just feeling very uneasy about that. And that makes you scared, especially if that's what you want. Some of you guys, again, you're reminiscing about this person that you have this connection with. You do want to connect with them, but there's a lot of fear in taking action on this. What other messages do we have? Or this player could have fear of taking action towards you because they're needing to heal family trauma. What do we have for day five for Sagittarius? I mean, yeah, for Sagittarius, my bad. So we got unfinished business and responsibilities. This is someone that either you got a baby with or you gonna have a baby with because you got this, this, this is a baby. This is, this is a baby, okay? There's a lot of unfinished, something, a lot of unfinished business between you and this person. There's a lot of baggage while I'm back and forth or maybe there's baggage back and forth between them and another person because you got two different couples right here, two different babies. Um, either way it go, I feel like the situation has a lot of baggage. I feel like you need to follow your intuition, your gut feeling. Someone may have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of emotional needs. They have a lot of baggage. Some of y'all are connecting with someone who may be a player, who may have taken a long time coming towards you. They could be trying to heal a family situation. They're reminiscing about you. You're reminiscing about them. Y'all keep going back and forth because there's a lot of baggage between the two of you. They got a lot of baggage. You feel like they're replaceable. They feel like you're replaceable. Listen, y'all need to get this shit together. They, they, they six. For Sagittarius. Break up. Look at here. So I feel like there's a conversation that's gonna lead to a breakup, especially if this person is because it's right under healing. If this person is like playing the field, trying to heal things with someone from their past. Someone that there's someone from their past. You and this person may be doing some reminiscing this week. There's a lot of baggage here. Some of you guys, you're walking away from this. Day seven here. We got reflection. You're walking away, and I feel like after the walk away, you're going to be doing a lot of reflection. Yes, this is your soulmate, um, but this person is running from a relationship. This person may come back in wanting to reconcile, but they're going to hold back. They have a lot of anxiety. They feel overwhelmed with whatever they got going on. They do understand your point of view, but they're still going to run. Okay? And it's possible that they're in a relationship with another soulmate. Okay? So... I feel like you need to do some reflecting here. With spread your wings and break up, there's definitely going to be some sort of separation. You need to kind of reflect on what has happened so that you can heal this wound and be able to move forward. Yeah. 
All right, so let's get some guidance. What timing is significant for Sagittarius? Okay, we have in divine timing and next month. So something significant could happen in next month. We also got in divine timing. Some of you guys can be playing a waiting game here with the situation. What closing messages do we have for Sagittarius? Some will rise in What closing messages do we have for Sagittarius? We got your commitment is being tested. And we also got uh, the energy is gaining momentum. So this is definitely going to be some sort of shift. And your commitment either to yourself or this situation will be tested. Alright, Sag. This is all I have. Until next time.